Okay, here we are, 2.45 on the 14th September 2007, we've got the latest engine here, this is the Stuart half beam, it's taken me nearly a year to make this, this is kindly gifted the casting set from the, the family of the late Willie McDonald. Jimmy Bullock asked me to, if I'd like to make this engine. The needle bit his arm off. So, does it work, Jimmy? You bet it works. I've got some, I can see some slight water leaks here. I'm sitting at 25 psi on the gauge there. Yep, 25 psi there. So, I'll crack it open. There we go, give it a wee whirl. There we go. There we are. How about that? Whoa, super, super fast, we don't want that. Turn it down a wee bit. There we go. Fantastic. That's what it's all about. There's a mechanism. I've got a wee timing issue, I think. Slight timing issue I'll have to look at. But apart from that, fantastic. There we go. It runs really nice, about 15 psi. There, yeah, that's a nice speed. I like that. That's, about, that's quite nice. I like that. It uses quite a bit of steam. This is sitting at 15 just now. So once it gets run in, it'll run in a lot smoother, I think. Just shut it down just now. Yeah, I think um, with some tight spots in it, I can see. Um, in fact, I'll turn the wick up a wee bit. I'll get it turned down a bit. I've got to be careful with the gas. It's, oh, they're a bit noisier now. Because I didn't bother with the, the burner there. I've got, to, I've got too much air going into the mixture, I think. Bring up the pressure a bit more, but um, it didn't take very much to run at all. I didn't have to do anything after I timed it the first time. I just bled the steam in. I've got a wee leak here. I can see at the top, just in there. I have to uh, tighten up those two nuts here and here. That'll compress the the black um, carbon string that we've got. You know the cord, to make the seal. And I can see I have a wee tight part here. It was this screw here. I'm going to have to be careful of because these wee, all these wee tiny grub screws I'll have to um, have to get them I'll probably once I've got it timed exactly right I'll pin it that'd be the best bit but um, I'm well impressed I think it looks great that's us back up to 25 psi there I think it looks smashing you've got to spin it over to start it up I'll look, I'll look at it yeah, it's a 25, we're running up a wee bit higher pressure. There's just two drain cocks in there. The beam, this beam here, this is the, the back here, that, that's quite funny, it just oscillates to and fro, to and fro quite quickly. I'm going to have to get it all bolted down because it tends to wander, it's wanting to walk. <laughs> it's wanting to walk, hello. I've got it just sitting in a bit of MDF here. But, um, I'll get a big aluminium plate if I was going to do something and bolt this all down to it and make life a lot easier. Fantastic. I don't know if it's not very bright in here, I've got a couple of lights on, but... I think it looks terrific. Yeah, what are we doing now? Yep, 30 PSI. Yep. Give it another go. Let's crack it open. Whoa. Give it a wee spin. There we are. Hey, hey, oh, oh, slow down, slow down. <laughs> hey. How about that? Quite tricky to control it just once you run away. I'll, I'll obviously do some experiments with it and just, just get it so as I just know there we are. There's a nice slow speed. When you get the timing just right, you should be able to get it running really, really slow. But the timing has to be absolutely spot on for that. That's, that's not bad. 
That's not bad at all. Please do that. Funnel steaming away quite in there. Oh, more steam, McPhail, more steam. <laughs> yeah, I've done so. There we go. Fantastic. Got the valve gear there, going up and down. Up and down. Look at that. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Uh, I can see quite a wee bit of water stalking about, but it's all to do with just getting the carbon, just getting the, the graphite yarn fixed just out nicely. Get it sealed. I can see there's looking here. You get have to watch there, there's a wee leak somewhere under there. Maybe one of my gaskets is looking a wee bit, but all in all, it's not bad. It's the first time I've had seen any kind of action at all. And that's a treat. Run up. I'll tell you what, I think it once it's bolted down, I think it could go at some rate of knots. I think so. It's just sitting at 25. Just cracked open a wee bit. I've got um, the lubricator there, I don't know how much oil it's using. I'll have to wait to see when I stop it. I'll just open it up and see how much oil. If it's used all the oil or not. I mean, it's been running for. It's been running for 15 minutes or so. Great stuff. There we go. Hey, you can see all the mechanism there. I've got 20 psi in there, just cracked open a wee bit. I've got the, the boilers coping with it. Use about half the water that I've got running in it just now. Excellent. Slowing down a wee bit now. Yeah, it's running just about 20, yeah. Whoa, I'll have to crack open a wee bit. Go away again. Yeah, it's obviously an eating. This is quite funny, this. The end bit's also looking really weird. It's much better if I hold it down. Nice and smooth. Oh, no, please do that. It's working a treat. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty much holding its own there. That's just about 20 psi. I've got the burner going about three quarters. Fantastic. Yeah. It wants to walk across it. It's too smooth this surface here. It wants to, it wants to run across it. <laughs> hey. See in there. So the eccentric on the end. Big end over there. Donkey. Brilliant. 